Welcome to Spreadsheets, Module A, Homework 1B. In the very first worksheet, called Grades 1, you have the student's name together. And what we want to do is put them in separate columns in case we need to put them in alphabetic order. So hover over the letter B when you get the arrow pointing down and click. Then go over to Insert on the Home tab and you'll click once, twice, so you get two new columns. So in column B, I will type Tom, enter, and once I type the M for Mary, I'll have all of them. Just press enter. Then I'll come over here and do the last name, press enter, and I'll just type the lowercase l, and I'm done. Then what I can do is move student name over here, and I can actually delete column A. So now I'll go to grades two. Now this one, they are separated and we want to put them together. So click on column label C, insert, and in here I'm going to join Tom from column A and Sawyer from column B. Then I'll start with Mary and I'm done. So I'll move student name over here and select A and B and delete. Next, we'll go to names, and in this one, we're going to type their just their first and last name. So I'll type in Michael Henley, and then when I press enter, as soon as I type the A for Alex, it knows right away what I want, and I can continue. Next, we'll go to flash fill. So I want one through ten. When I use the flash, the uh, little box in the corner for flash fill and drag down, I'm going to get copies of all the one. If I select the auto fill options, instead of copy, choose fill series so it counts 1 through 10. So I want this to increase by every half hour, so I have to select both of them so that Excel understands the pattern. And then go ahead and use your fill handle and it'll continue every half hour. For the dates, go ahead and fill handle. And it's um, all the way January 1st to January 10th, but I don't want um, just January. I want the first of every month. So I'll click the autofill options and choose fill months. So it's January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, etc. Days of the week, I'll go ahead and fill handle. And when I look, I'll see that I have Saturday and Sunday. I'll click the autofill options and choose weekdays so it's only the weekdays. The next one is just quarterly so it'd be, it should be March, June, September, and December so I'll select both of them and then fill handle and it'll be every three months. Yearly I want it to go 2012, 2013, and so forth but I'm going to get all 2012s. Click autofill options and select fill series so it goes to 2021. Next one, phone number. So if you look at column A, it's very hard to see um, the number. because They're all uh, numbers on top of each other. The best way would be to type parentheses, 212, close parentheses, space bar, 555-0167. It's easier to read it that way. When I start my next one, I just type the open parentheses, and I'm done. For here, Instead of just Smith, Tucker, I want it to read the Smith family, the Tucker family. So I'll start the first one. And then when I get ready to type the next one, I have to go all the way to the T in Tucker, and then I'm done. So it's very quick and easy to fix a, a way that you have it and then adjust it. Next one is Central. And here, I just want you to pull out the middle number, so I'll just type in 4645, enter, and then the 9, and it picks up the pattern. For username, I don't want the entire Ironman.com, I just want Tony Stark and stop. When I'm ready for Clark Kent, just the C, and I'm done. And the last one, state. This should be deleted on your end, but anyway, it's right here. I want to pull out just the city. And then I'm ready for the next one. Done. Now I just want to pull out the states. Done. And then just pull out the zip codes from the first one. Done. 
So that's all those sheets are completed in this one workbook, and that's a save and submit. Thank you.